And new at 6.30 tonight, the Jefferson City School District is now investigating several staff members after current and former students took to social media this weekend. ABC 17's Natalie Jones looked through the school policies today. Natalie, you found that the district's policies don't specifically mention social media usage. Well, Deb, that's right. Like you said, Jefferson City Public Schools is now launching an investigation into staff members after a slew of social media posts. And after digging into those policies more, I found there really are no policies for social media usage by staff. Jefferson City Public Schools says it's investigating social media posts from district employees at the high school. This all comes after current and former students started a social media campaign over the weekend. Now, multiple students even tagged school officials in those posts. So today, I reached out to the school district and they were not available for an on-camera comment, but they did give us a written response saying the subject matter of the post is completely unacceptable and out of line with our expectations for district employees to create an environment free from bias and exclusion. The district says it is launching an investigation and will take disciplinary actions on the employees if they are needed. I also reached out to Jefferson City's Board of Education and was directed right back to the district. According to Jefferson City's employee handbook, there really is no specific social media policy for the staff, but there is a policy against any kind of discrimination. That policy says the district strictly prohibits discrimination and harassment against employees, students, or others on the basis of race, color, religion, gender, or any other characteristic protected by law. Now, that handbook also says that any employee in violation of those policies will be disciplined or even fired. Now, I reached out to some students today and fortunately could not get a hold of them, but the consensus on social media was the same. All these students recalling their experiences with these teachers and calling for change in the district. Live in Jefferson City, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 News. Okay, thank you, Natalie. And we do have screenshots of those posts made by district employees, but we will not be reporting the names of those employees until the district releases some more information.